mortgage, mortgage. Uh, take things a step further, good expression. We go beyond that. We do more than that. Very good expression. Challenges, a mission. These are all similar to mission, mission, purpose, guide, philosophy, principle, uh, soul, roadmap, touchstone. These are all very similar words, good words to know. Uh, that matters is important. So those are the words for our first story, which was branching out. And the idea of branching out is going into different directions, learning something new, for example. So once again, this is a tree. And in college, uh, we study, you know, history. And then we study, I don't know, uh, European history. And then you study Greek history. So this is college. This is your master's degree and this is your PhD. This is the idea. You get more and more specific. To branch out means to go in different areas. So history, technology, uh, education, whatever, different branches. And then you can get more specific, more specific. Many people have a difficult time branching out. But thanks to the internet, we are able to branch out more easily. It's a good expression, branching out. Well, can I ask a question? No. <laughs> Everybody can ask a question except Daniel. I'm joking. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, uh, branching out is more in the way... Uh, hola, 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 hola. I hear you, David. Um, I hear you. Okay. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, branching, branching out is more in the way of uh, expanding. Yeah, but when you say uh, study history and uh, go further into uh, high depth, high high degree, it it. Yes, it is to uh, 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 to concentrate in one uh, yeah fo focused concentrated. Okay, but branching out is not uh, the opposite. Uh, yeah, the the opposite. See. Yes, sir. That's exactly right. Okay? Uh, okay, to... Uh, to go uh, into new areas. Expand in, in, in many areas. That's right. Okay. And that's the idea. Uh, with online learning, it's much easier and cheaper uh, to branch out, to expand. Yeah. And, and even deeper and deeper in if you some want that's right subject yes absolutely that's exactly right that's right okay i'm going to go to 195 i, I think excuse me shane but yeah. I, I think the image uh, shows it uh, it's like a frog well. i i think it's it's roots Ah, you see it as roots. Yeah, branching, branching out. Uh, uh, a lot of roots. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I was always, I, I looked at this as kind of like frog's feet. <laughs> no, pay attention. Tree house. Yeah, yeah I understand tree. that. But where's the house? I don't, I don't see the house. I don't see the tree. I see... You know, maybe if they change the... I, I want to spin this. I don't know. Here oh, we go. boy. You thought it, it was a, a frog's foot? Now it looks like a tree, maybe. No, no, no. It's... I think it's roots. Oh, it could be. The, it could be. The roots of the tree. <laughs> uh, 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 a tree? And I think they're frog feet. They're frog, it's a frog's foot. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Life frog. It looks like a frog foot, doesn't it? What does it look no. like to you guys? They are roots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second, Daniel. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's see here. Um, frog foot. <laughs> Look at that. That's a frog foot. See, it's uh, a frog foot. I didn't see yet. It's gonna. Oh yeah, up. yeah, yeah. But why frog? I don't know. Maybe it's a tree frog. R roots makes more. There you go. It's a tree frog foot. <laughs> there, look at that. That's a tree frog foot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. But 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 tree fro frog foot doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Anyway, it's their time. <laughs> DD. That's why for DDM. We don't have a symbol yet. We don't have any graphics for DDM. What can we do? <laughs> uh, I can. Uh, I can say uh, Parmi. Oh, there you go, Parmi. There you go, Parmi would be our our leader. I like that. I like that. I noticed that Berta, uh, I think, is a friend of Parmi or something recently. That's good. That's good. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm going to ask him a lot of questions. Though. Oh, he'll be happy to answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to DDM 195. 195 was, what's the big deal? It was the crazy husband who destroyed his house without telling his wife when he was going to destroy the house. So we have lots of good words here. Uh, is out on $300 bail. And grammatically, um, $300 bail is perfect. But actually, $300 bail is also possible if this is an S apostrophe. Um, especially, once again, with uh, time, distance, and money for the English speakers, we will say number S noun as an adjective. So, for example, uh, two hours test. Many Americans do say that. A oh. actually turns into a genitive case, uh, uh, possessive. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, what's important, if you write it like this, you are wrong. You must add the apostrophe. You have to add the apostrophe. And uh, a five kilometer distance, a five kilometer race, many Americans do say five kilometers race. But once again, it must have possessive. You must include the possessive if you're going to do that. My recommendation for people who especially do not live in America, leave out the S. If you live in America, like Berta and David, they live in America, they will probably have many chances to hear Americans say the S. So if you want to include the S, that's fine. You're going to sound like pretty much everybody else. Oh, Miguel is having a problem with the connection. Yeah, I hope he comes back. Um, so that's one important thing. Charged with criminal mischief. The pronunciation mischief. Don't say mischief. It's actually mischief. Uh, that big of a deal. Knocked down, put the sounds together, piled into dumpsters. A permit. Martin Luther King Day. Bulldozer. Foundation. To be upset and estranged. These are the words. Any questions on the crazy story? Good. I'm going to go right to DDM 196, which was our last one. I'll go back to Seinfeld in a minute. 
Oh, I'll go back there. Um, this was about Super Bowl ads. These are made. Uh, yes, Mikhail, I got your question. I will answer your question after I talk about this. That's a great, great question. Um, so the Super Bowl ads, we have God and the first draft. We have Liam Neeson and a smartphone game. And we have uh, rat, the tortoise and the hare and Mercedes-Benz. Very interesting, funny commercials. I hope that you enjoyed them. Lots of words, lots of cultures. So DDM-196 explanation video, very important. If you have not had the chance to watch that yet, uh, I hope that you do take the time. Uh, you have two weeks, so you should have some good time. Uh, draft. This definition is important to understand. Issues. I have issues. I have problems. A locker room guy. A team player. A good guy. Uh, a jock. Uh-oh. Something bad is going to happen. Makes a ton of sense. Very logical. Rich soil. Fertile. Two pronunciations. We can say fertile and fertile. Both are fine. Ideal, humiliate as a verb, barbarians, barbarians, I can't wait to do something, mercy, scone, some scones are very large, these are actually uh, probably normal, uh, maybe a little bit small, uh, scones, scones can be delicious, crossed, he was crossed, he was angered, a jetpack. This is a jetpack that looks so cool. Bask in my glory. Enjoy my greatness. It just means enjoy my greatness. You can think of the Caesar in Rome. On your mark. Relaxed. Get set. Ready. Go. And you start running. Uh, Roadkill. Deal me in. Let me play cards with you. A plot twist. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Some other movies that we talked about with a great plot twist. Sixth Sense. And uh, uh, what was the other one? Benita, do you remember? Ah, The Others. The Others. Uh, if, if so, if you don't know this movie, that's okay. If you know this movie or maybe this movie, these movies have huge plot twists, which completely change the story uh, to something you weren't expecting. Very interesting. Read them and weep, a good poker expression. Hair raising power, hair raising something, something very powerful. At your hair actually rises, it stands. Of course, hair also sounds like hair as in a rabbit. So we got some a joke there. Yeah. This word is like Shiva. Uh, not, no, no, no. It's, it, it could be, but not necessarily. Hair raising, it's like if you see something scary. You don't necessarily shiver, but the hair on the back of your neck stands, right? You can feel that, right? Like someone who thinks. He saw a ghost? Yes. But it doesn't have to be shocking. It can be amazing or it can just be powerful. So, for example, you're listening to a speech and what the person is saying is so perfect for you that the hair on your body stands up. It's like electrifying. It's so wonderful. That's the idea. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me talk about Mikhail's question. And this actually goes back to DDM-195. Uh, and I'm going to copy this. Great question. And we've talked about this before. All these words dealing with uh, the law, the police. Uh, so we've got accuse, convict, plead, prosecute sentence, charge, and be tried. So let's try and find an order here. I'm going to 
I'm going to change this to the next page. So first of all, you are, I'm going to change it. You're, first of all, you are suspected. You're a suspect. Then you are arrested. When you're arrested, you are charged with. Uh, so, uh, okay. Arrested. I can say under under charge under charge. I haven't written anything yet. Hold up, accused. I'm looking at the words here. Uh, so you're suspected of something, then you're accused, then the police arrest you, and then they charge you with something. Then you are tried. You are tried. Uh, after you are tried, or when you're tried, you plead. You plead, and if you are guilty. You are convicted. Um, and uh, and then if you're guilty, then you are sentenced. Or absolved. Okay, that's and the other thing, um, if you uh, are uh, or you are set free. We don't say absolved, but that's the idea, set free. So it's it's A or B, okay, after you plead. Um, uh, oh, actually, then the judge or a jury. Uh, again, can I include another word? Yeah, go ahead. I never know the difference between lawyer and attorney. Okay, uh, well, I'll talk about that, too. Um, so... So this is the word I left out, and we'll add these other words, lawyer, attorney, and we'll add prosecutor, and we'll add DA, district attorney. Okay, so this is, this is the situation that we have to know. Um, first of all, you are suspected of a crime. I think Shane stole the car. Then you look for information, you look for evidence. Yes, Shane stole it. The police say, Shane did it. Then the police come to me and they arrest me. They take me to jail. I say, why did you arrest me? They charge me with stealing a car. This is actual paperwork. That paperwork goes to court. At court, I am tried. I go to a trial. And I present my information, and the prosecutor presents his information. Then at the end of the trial, they say, Shane, are you guilty or innocent? I say, I am innocent. Then the judge or a jury decides. If I am guilty, I am sentenced. I have to go to jail for three years. I have to pay $5,000 in a fine, or if I'm innocent, I'm set free. So this is the system that everybody goes through if you commit a crime. A lawyer and an attorney are the same thing. In the UK, they say, I think, barrister. Is that right? I think that's right. The prosecutor is the government lawyer or the city lawyer. District attorney, the same thing. Um, so uh, this is the government or the police. You can think of like the police's lawyer or the government's lawyer. And this is the Shane's lawyer. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the, the bad guy or maybe the innocent guy. So to prosecute means the prosecutor wants to send me to jail. That means to prosecute. Okay, there's another question, an appeal. So if they say I'm guilty and they sentence me, but I insist, no, I'm innocent, then I can appeal, which means I go back to court. I go back to 
another trial and we try again. That's the idea of an appeal. So if convicted, they'll sentence me, I go to jail, and in jail I say, no, 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 no. Really, I'm innocent. Let's go back to court and I file an appeal and I go back to court. So that's 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 what an appeal is. A trial, once again, a trial is what happens at court. So you've got uh, the lawyer and the prosecutor arguing. O.J. Simpson has a lawyer. The prosecutor says O.J. Simpson is guilty. The lawyer says O.J. Simpson is innocent. The prosecutor says the man is guilty. The lawyer says the man is innocent. They argue in court. That's what a trial is. A trial is trying to find the truth. You can think like that. That's not exactly right, but trying to find the truth. Yes, that's right. That's a little, that Veritha's definition is perfect. A little bit difficult, um, but that's, that's exactly right. Uh, a simple definition, what is a trial? It's when the judge tries to find the truth. He listens to the lawyer and he listens to the prosecutor and he tries to find the truth. I hope that makes sense. This is a very generic, simple definition of the American legal system. Great question. And, so, and sometimes there are a lot of judges. Well, we have to remember, every judge is a lawyer, every prosecutor is a lawyer, and every lawyer is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't know if the the term uh, the the word is that, but that uh, some trial trials there are a lot a lot of people who is listening, and in the final they will say yes or not. You mean they say they're innocent or not? Yeah. They plead, yeah, they plead innocent or they plead guilty, yes. No, no, I, I'm, I'm asking the, the, the name of those people who are there listening to the ah, lawyer, to the prisoners. It's usually just the family of the guy who's accused, the family of the suspect, the family of this guy. No, Shane, no. You mean uh, the witnesses? Uh, witnesses. Ah, yeah. Witnesses, witnesses, the prosecutor has witnesses, and the lawyer has witnesses. Those are people who help the lawyer tell his story. Those are people who help the prosecutor tell his story. Then the judge listens to all of that, or the jury, and then decides. The defense has uh, witnesses also, right? Yeah, the, this is the defense. The lawyer and attorney, uh, this is the defense. And we don't say offense, but basically, usually this is the offense. But yes, this is all the same. And the defense has witnesses, and so does the prosecutor. I am very familiar with those cases because I've been uh, watching all those cases, so Jane Simpson. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, America's lovely. Anthony. Uh, <laughs> all that. Julia, yes. yes. <laughs> oh boy, that's right. Yeah, it, uh, America loves the legal drama. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Shin, I have a question about DDM one nine six. Yes. And I still don't know why the polar bear says "bitch, bitch, bitch, bitch." Where does the polar bear? I don't bear know the reason. Uh. Northern Pole? Yes, but this is before he lives at the North Pole. This is at the beginning of time. So he wants to live in Mexico. He loves Mexico is famous for beautiful beaches. So the polar bear is saying, please choose me. I want to go to the beach, 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 beach. Please, 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 beach, 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 beach. But Mexico, does it choose the polar bear? No, it chooses the avocado. The North Pole oh. chooses the be the polar bear. Okay, I see. It's really and sad. It's a sad story. 
Yeah. And how about the tree? I okay. still don't know the part. Okay, so the dodo bird, do you know the dodo bird? Yeah, I did some research. Okay, so it's extinct, right? Yeah. Yes. The dodo bird, its home is Mauritius. That's where it's from. So the idea, Mauritius picked something else, but then changed its mind. It wanted the dodo bird. But, but it's funny because the dodo bird was a bad trade because the dodo bird died. Okay, I see. So they're just teasing Mauritius for trading, uh, for making a bad trade. Okay, okay, okay. thanks. Uh, David says the DA. Uh, hold on a second. Let me let me leave a message for Matt. Hold on a second. You need to change the go to app audio settings from uh, what is it? Telephone to microphone and speakers and I hope that he can see this <laughs> all right Matt is a new member uh, no Brazil selects the sloth that means we are lazy right no 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 um, but we in America we know of the sloth as living in the jungles and when we say the jungles we think of the Amazon, we think of Brazil. So we think it has nothing to do with lazy. <laughs> uh, but the sloth is very, um, it likes to be alone. It likes to be alone and therefore it's not a team player, which means it has off the field issues. It's good at what it does, but it's not very friendly. It has other problems. Did you, uh, Francisco, did you listen to the explanation video? Yeah, but, but it's, it was not clear. So I have to it again. Okay. So let me give you this, Francisco. Do you know uh, Mike Tyson? Yeah, yeah. The, the boxer. Right. Is he a good boxer? I think so. Yeah, at the time, he was the greatest boxer. He was the greatest boxer, okay? But yes. was he a good guy? No, I don't, oh, I don't think so. No. He raped a woman. Is that yeah. a good thing? No. Of course not. So, so in, on the field, well, for Michael Tyson, in the boxing ring, he was excellent. But out of the boxing ring or off the field, he was a bad guy. So he had off the field issues. Does that make sense? Yeah, but what, what, what is that related to slows? Okay, so that's right. It's not. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. They're trying because these are sports announcers. They have to make some sort of sports connection. In real life, However, the sloth is uh, not, um, uh, let's see, the sloth is not social, okay? Mm -hmm. So the sloth is not social, uh, which means it's not very friendly, which means it has problems dealing with people. That's all they're talking about. Okay. Okay. I see. It's it's silly humor. It's not serious. Okay. okay. I'd like to ask some more. Sure. Why does why does the god repeat the shit two times? Because it sounds stupid. Because we got you know Australia the kangaroo cool Brazil the sloth oh nice the United States wheat. It just sounds really in Korean solom. Um, oh, it just sounds really corny. It sounds really stupid. I mean, the sloth is cool. Uh, Americans like the sloth. The kangaroo is cool. The lemur is cool. Wheat? 
What the hell is wheat? Wheat's boring. What the hell is that? Okay, okay. <laughs> I see. Yeah. And Zebra, that's, that's, cool. That's, okay. Even ginkgo biloba sounds cool. Ginkgo biloba. <laughs> you know, Shane, uh, uh, in the past there was giant, giant sloths. I know, I know. They're really awesome. Yeah. I love the sloth. Did you know that the sloth only poops once a week? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it poops a lot at one time. <laughs> and, and Shane, in page two. Yes. The second line. The I wonder it is all is right. Is isn't it all? Think Wait. again. All. I'm going for okay, yeah, problem. somebody else said that. Let me listen. Somebody else said or. Let me, I got to listen to that again. Hold on a second. Yeah, um, in last class, oh, I think it was Bertha said uh, she thought it was or. Let me listen to that again. Hold up. I really don't think so, but I could be wrong. I kind of hear a little or. But yeah, I'm going to listen here. Remember, he doesn't speak American English, so it might be his pronunciation. Hold on a second here. I'm digging it out. I'm coming for you again. Leave me and take my gold. Think again. No, he absolutely does say oh, oh, yes. Um, oh. It doesn't mean or. Um, and or actually doesn't make sense. Uh, but what it is, I think it's his voice. Oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm coming for you. Um, it is very much oh. And, and that, would, that would be logical. In American English, think again. Oh, I'll be there. This would be very common. Actually, let's do this. Think again. Oh, I bet that's very common. Let's go to Google. Um, and let's make a search here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go quotation sign. Think again. Dot. Oh. And there you go. Think again. Oh, no. Uh, think again. Oh, my. Yeah, it really is. Oh, think again. Uh, it's, it really is kind of what we'd say. It looks like people are saying the same okay. thing. But anyway, 83,000 results. I don't want lyrics, though. Hold on a second. Minus lyrics. <laughs> and now we get lots of it. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it, this is the pattern that we would say. Uh, think again. Okay. Oh, I write basic, yeah. Okay, I see. Thank you. And yeah. the why... The 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 let's say the road kill. Why did it say later road kill? Okay, so did, what what does road kill mean? Yeah, the the, the dead body of animals. Right. So, right? Yeah. do slow animals get killed or do fast animals get killed in the road? Yes, the no, slow, slow animals. Yes. So the turtle is slow, right? Oh, so he despised the turtle. Yeah, he's like, you stupid roadkill. Uh-huh, okay. And in the, in the parenthesis, a snail passes the hair, but... Yeah, I know, it's my mistake. I need to change it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, photos, all right. <laughs> yes. And, okay, 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 that's all. Thank you. You bet. Uh, David has some questions, too. Hold on a second. Um... Uh, also, they have to give, yeah, they're giving people that uh, they're selecting animals or plants. Um, it, yes, exactly. They're mixing it up. Yeah, they're mixing it up. Not so in the beginning in this one. Um, the point of the story is Mexico and the avocado, but uh, we got animal and then animal. So we are emphasizing plants are possible. Here's another plant. Then we go back to animal, animal, and then, and then the star, avocado, is, of course, another plant. Shane, you need to change the screen. 
Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm looking at David's question in the chat room. Uh, remember, everybody, you guys can are free to use that chat room, of course. Um, <laughs> David is playing Game of Wars. Game of Wars? Is that an iPhone game? <laughs> Great. And let me say hi to Matt, by the way. Hi, Matt. Hmm. Sometimes the mics, I, I can't, Matt, I cannot hear you. Uh, if you can hear me, though, please say hi uh, in the chat room. Carlos asks me, Shane, do you play video games? Um, I don't have any on my phone. Uh, I do have the game Civilization. Do you know the game Civilization? I love that. I'm really horrible, but I do like that game. That's the only one. Uh, David says that game never ends. I like games that don't end. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to Matt again. You always find someone better. Exactly. There's always somebody better. Matt... Can you hear me? I hope that Matt can hear me. This is Matt's first time joining us, and most of you remember the first time is always a little bit confusing. Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to back to DDM-194 which was Seinfeld. We finished up a Seinfeld. Don't save. Uh, I'm going to go right to the glossary. And these were the words that we studied. Stuff, you know, my stuff, belongings. It's a very good word. Stereo. This is the stereo. Tape player, CD player, record player, tuner, AM, FM. That's the idea. Um, VCR, of course, now it's DVD or what is it, Blu-ray, besides, impound yard, great expression if you lose your car in America, stalling, built a stronghold, driven out of, teetering on the brink of, this is a perfect image of a truck, teetering on the brink of destruction, annihilation, annihil annihilation, the H is silent, Beaten, beaten, glottal stop T, a sitting duck, an easy target, a road apple, horse poop, <laughs> feeble, to put the herd on, hand it over, some gift. Now remember, this expression can be positive as well as negative. <gasps> some gift, a wonderful gift. Huh. Some gift, a terrible gift. Uh, Matt says, the program does detect my microphone, but if you can't hear me, I'll try to help this somehow. Yeah, Matt, uh, I cannot hear you. Uh, are you, if you're using a, I don't know, I'm not a technical guy, but keep adjusting the mic level and say something, and I'm sure, just keep trying to fix it, Matt. Uh, but I can see your typing. I can see your typing. Um, work to operate. This doesn't work. This doesn't operate. Peel off. The, you know, when we buy electronics, we can peel off the plastic. I like that. Uh, yeah, Matt, try and adjust the levels. If you're using a Windows system, go to the speaker and right-click. And then it will have recording devices. And it, select that. And then choose microphone and properties and levels. And make sure it's on 100%. That might have been too much information in one. OK. <laughs> Give it a try. Uh, write right away immediately. A filling. These are fillings in your teeth. And chanting to drop by, get out of this, wild, menage a trois, is into it, streak of luck, 
move over at all, show up, freebies, lots of vocabulary, lots of great words, um, lots of stuff to learn this, this last couple of weeks. No, David, I am not a computer engineer. I am a computer idiot. <laughs> okay, questions about any of the assignments? We're going to go into some role play in a second here. Any questions? Sure. Yes. Uh, do you still have a, a VCR? No, I don't. I have videotapes, <laughs> but no VCR. <laughs> have uh, I have one here. Uh, I got one. Oh, does it work? Yeah, it, it works. Is it an LG or Samsung or Sony? Uh, Philips. 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 There you go. There you go. Philips. Yeah. <laughs> it's from the 70s. Wow. It's really old. Yeah. And it, it still works. And wow. So that's, you could probably sell it for big money. It's a collector's item. Yeah, uh, I use it for, uh, I do remasters. Uh, oh, that's you know, great. Uh, I put the tape and I, uh, I remaster that tape into DVDs. Oh, that's brilliant. You could make some money doing that. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. David says I should read the book Computing for Dummies. Oh, David, I'm too stupid. <laughs> David, you're a young guy. You can do that. I'm too old and stubborn. I can't learn anything anymore. <laughs> no other questions? You guys are a bunch okay, of... Okay, I have one. <laughs> yes, Francisco. Uh, hello? Yeah, the, the Jody asked the first all stop, then Bonnie said it's gone, then Jody asked again, here's the velvet, then Bonnie said they were his. So Bonnie uses it sometimes, then this time they. <laughs> How was the difference? Okay, so stuff is actually singular, so it is correct. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Table, stereo, VCR, couch, several items, so she says they. But my question is, this is maybe stupid, but what do you ask the first the very bad? Ah, uh, yes, but, but, it's, but she's answering not only this, she's answering all of this. Okay, okay. Yep, that's a good okay. question. That's not a stupid okay. question at all, yes. Okay, thank you. You bet. And he should say uh, the velvet co couch, but as he said, he loves velvet a yeah. lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the couch, it's the velvet. That's velvet. <laughs> <laughs> George is, is idiot. He is, he is. I love George, but he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> how, I see, uh, seriously, of all, my, of all the characters, George is my favorite. Uh, how, uh, how he said, how did he say, uh, I love so much Velvet that if it was social... How, how, how A social said, misfit. I would drape me with Velvet. Ah, it's socially unacceptable. Oh, uh, yeah. If it was so socially unacceptable, I should drape myself with, with velvet. Yes, exactly. I'm going to leave a message for Matt. Matt, uh, this happens to me sometimes. Uh, try restarting your computer and joining again. Sometimes that helps. For me, it does help, Matt. So give that a try, okay? Okay, good. Yes, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, uh, if it were socially acceptable, would you drape yourself in velvet? <laughs> no. No, neither would I. <laughs> but I should use 
wear high heel heels. Oh God. <laughs> 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 That's scary, Daniel. That's really scary. <laughs> it's not. I know. Carlos says he has a bulldozer in his computer. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. That's why I like you all. Yes, uh, it is the name. Uh, <clears throat> uh, AMD developed uh, a microprocessor. AMD developed a bulldozer microprocessor. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, uh, last chance. Questions? Okay, we're going to go into role play. And this time, uh, don't save. I'm going to go... Uh, should I do 94? No, I'm going to go back to 93. Uh, the first one we're going to do is 93. Let me share my screen. Um, oops. Uh, 97 was the best. We're going to do that one too. Uh, but we got a lot of people. We got some time. So let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to break this. That's a long one. Okay, uh, so basically I'm going to have pretty much everybody take a paragraph. We're going to start with Vedita at the top, and then Jerry, um, and then after Jerry we got Carlos, and Mr. Barbo, and David, and then Cooney, and then Mikhail, and Francisco. You have nothing. No, I'm going to change that. Yep, for this one, Francisco, nothing. I'll get you another one, okay? So let's go ahead and start with Berta, please. Okay. Uh, you know, understanding technology and being able to control it is now as fundamental as being able to read and write. Excellent. Treehouse is an online technology school where we teach you everything you need to know from coding and design and iPhone apps and Android apps and business. And the goal is to take you from knowing nothing to everything. Oh, that was good. Carlos. We take a project-based approach, so you'll learn the practical lessons needed to create websites, build mobile apps, and start businesses. Excellent job. Carlos, you're 16? 17. 17. <laughs> Just a boy. Got it. Daniel, go ahead. There's so many stories that blow me away. There's a woman that amazed me that is, was a secretary and now she's quitting, quitting her job to be a web designer. There's a guy that learned iOS and he built an iPhone app and now he pays his mortgage from that Good job. That's right. No T in mortgage. Good job. David? We, you hear me? Yep. We teach our students with these amazing videos, but then we take things a step further with our interactive code challenge and quizzes. quizzes. This is a much different way to learn than just sitting in a classroom. Very good. And Kuni. Okay. Uh, we have a mission that we think that matters. You know, uh, bringing the education to people that can't get it right now. Now, uh, you know, instead of going to university and go into that to buy a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. You could get us through three house, you know, in the probably the three hundred bucks. Great job. And Mikhail? And then at the end, if you are looking for a job, we are going to be able to take you and put you in an amazing job. Very good. Everybody, great job. I'm trying to find a couple of points for everybody. I missed a couple of you. Um, this is a tough... Benita, you want to get that word again? Fundamental. 
Perfect. <laughs> yes. I said fundamental. Yes, that's right. That's right. But that's the Spanish pronunciation, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. So and yes, Portuguese. And Portuguese. I know. I know um, some uh, British people or people who lives in Europe. Uh, they might want to pronounce that fundamental, but in America, they say fundamental. That's right, those damn Americans, those damn yeah. Yankees, <laughs> fundamental. <laughs> like I know some, I, I might sound weird, but that's the way I hear it. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing that's interesting, and I'm sure you guys remember, I hope you do, um, his pronunciation was really terrible, the guy. Um, but even though it's terrible, it's actually really kind of typical. Um, and he canceled all the green. So he actually said, understanding fundamental. Understanding technology is as fundamental as being able to read and write. It's kind of funny. Um, I didn't notice the cancellation until one of you guys pointed it out to me. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, he totally did. Uh, for you guys, when you're speaking, I recommend keeping the sounds, understanding fundamental. I do recommend keeping the sounds as they are. Yeah, but uh, with me, I can. Because you see, what happened, I, I'm used to hearing like that. Like, right. Like, it's like the same thing in 20. I mean, who says yep. 20 in America? Nobody. And no, you're right. And Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, like in first class, you said, oh, I have to pronounce this way, but I can't. <laughs> well, see, now this is the thing. Uh, Bertha, you know how to spell 20, right? Yeah. But without thinking, you say 20, right? Yeah, because that's the way they say it here. Okay. Now, that's the key. You're lucky. A lot of students, they, they never get to hear it, you know, if they're living in a different country. Um, and what I want students to, first of all, master is the perfect pronunciation. And then as they speak, naturally, they'll cancel it. But, Berta, uh, David, you guys live in America. So it's a different situation for you. Um, and speaking as you hear it is going to be much more uh, effective for you. Definitely, definitely. Let me go to Daniel here. Daniel, how do you say this word? Woman. OK, good. There's a woman. There's a woman. That emailed me. There's a woman that emailed me. Very good. There's a woman that emailed me. There's a woman that emailed, emailed me. Great job. And let's do this one. Built an iPhone app. Built, built, built an iPhone hey, can app. app. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you, Matt. Welcome. Hello, Coach Shane. Hello, everybody. I'm Hi. sorry I'm late. That's fine. That's fine. Where uh, are you from? Where are you from, Matt? Daniel asked. Oh, uh, didn't didn't pick that up. I'm from Poland, Daniel. Poland. Yeah. The country of delicious apples. Yeah. Well, yes, I believe we have um, some some good tasting apples. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Jelinski? Of course uh, he doesn't know Andre Jelinski, damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. One Polish Jesus. guy knows every other Polish guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing too. I know, uh, I know. I'm teasing too. Okay, let me continue here, Daniel. Build that's, a good, that's a good one. Sorry. <laughs> Daniel. IPhone, Daniel, concentrate on me. <laughs> Okay. What? Keep the T. Built an iPhone app. Built an iPhone iPhone app. Perfect, perfect. He built an iPhone app. He built an iPhone app. Absolutely perfect. But but uh, wait a minute. This in this case, why I, I couldn't uh, flap the T? Well, that's a good question. Um, he built an i he built an iPhone. 
We would never do that. Uh, but the question is why? So let me think for a second. And he built an iPhone app. He built an iPhone app. He built an iPhone app. Uh, Daniel, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, I can just say that we wouldn't. Um, if you said build an iPhone app with a flat T, we're going to hear it like this. Build an iPhone app. Okay, yeah. so it would really be different. So I think that's why. Um, I think we, without thinking, I think Americans know that we need to keep the T, and we do. Uh, if anything, we can stop it. Built an iPhone app, that's possible to stop it. But we wouldn't make a flap T. And Daniel, that's a great question, and I'm sorry, I just can't give you a good answer. Yeah, uh, so uh, I should say he built... Uh, built a knife fun app. Yes. Remember, make built. this more of an N, N, built N. I built a knife fun app. There you go. Perfect. Let me go to David. We teach our students. David, your mic is muted. Turn your mic back on. There you go. Okay. No, no. Okay. Um, student. There you go. We teach our students. We teach our students. Excellent job. Interactive code challenges and quizzes. Interactive code challenge and quizzes. Now this is a tough one. You got to get both all of this. Challenges. Oh. Uh, interactive code challenges and quizzes. Perfect. 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 Let me go to Cooney. That RL is tough some days. Cooney, let's try this mm -hmm. again. Bringing education. Bringing education. Oh, perfect. Uh, right now. Right now. Bringing education to people that can't get it right now. Bringing education to people that can't get it right now. Excellent job. $200,000. Two hundred thousand dollars. More th, more s. Thousand. Uh, thousand. Good. Two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. 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 Good job. One more time, please, Kuni. Two two hundred thousand dollars. Great job. And let me go to Mikhail. And then at the end. And then at the end. Good. Now, Mikhail, let's put this together. And then. And then. At the end. At the end. Good. So once again, look at the connection here. We got similar sounds, and we try to keep them. The D to the TH, the T to the TH, and then at the end. And then at the end. Great job. If you're looking for a job. If you're looking for a job. Now be careful here, looking. Even though the intonation goes up, the sound goes down. If you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a job, that sounded better. Put you in an amazing job. Put in an amazing job. This is tough. In an. In an. Put you in an. Put you in a. Put you in an amazing job. Put you in an amazing job. Yet. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> put uh, put you in an amazing job. Good. One more time. Put you in an amazing job. Yes. Da da. That was perfect, Mikhail. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Okay. I'm closing that out. We're going to uh, 96. And I'm gonna uh, have sure. everybody read again. Yes. Sure. Uh, was my reading good? Uh, if I didn't call your name, your reading was good. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Jerry, Carlos, only those two guys had did a great job. They, they're the young guys, you know, the the kids. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to this next one here. Uh, now this is God, and I'm going to select God's lines separately. Uh, I will ask Francisco to be God. 
Um, and Matt, I'm going to have Matt do something uh, in the next one. So uh, Francisco, you're going to be featured here. We're going to go, everybody's going to be involved. You need to concentrate. So yes, we'll be Berta. Jerry will be, I like that pick. And then uh, Carlos, and then Daniel, and then David. Sure. Okay? Sure. Yes. Uh, I want to be Liam. <laughs> Uh, ex yes, Matt. Uh, that's me too. Matt. Me too. <laughs> Matt's gonna be. I'm sorry. Matt, I'll give you guys a chance, but Matt's gonna be lying li today. Oh, thanks. thanks so let's go for it. Uh, Francisco, start us off, please. Okay. Uh, with the next pick in the first lap table, Australia selects the kangaroo. Yes. I like that pick. Carlos. Get up, hopes, jump, vertical. Brazil selects the slow. Off the field issues. Me? David. Oh, not a locker room guy. The United States selects fit. fit. Uh, mega mega Scott selects Luma, Lima. China, Kinko Biloba. Boswana selects the Zebra. Oh, oh, and with the next pick, we have a trade. Uh, Moritos had traded for the third world, and Mexico select. Beach, 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 beach. <laughs> the up <Avocado>. card. <laughs> this is Cooney, Cooney, Cooney. Oh, Cooney's mic is off. Ah, okay. Great pick. Very good. Matt. Love it. <laughs> Mikhail. That makes a ton of sense. Rich volcanic soil. Berta. Perfect weather. Jerry. Now make avocado from Mexico the ideal year round snake. Carlos. Carlos, your mic. Go ahead, Carlos. What? Oh, this is your section. You have to read this, Carlos. Ah. Uh, run with the love. Oh, I'm missing Carlos. Let's go to Daniel. Okay, one more time, Carlos. Run with love since the beginning of time. Good job, Daniel. Avocados from Mexico. Terrible. <laughs> David. David. David, try it. Your mic's off, David. No, oh, we're having internet issues. There we go. Yeah. yeah. You hear me? Yep. Avocados from Mexico. Terrible. My goodness. Cooney, oh. give it a try. Avocados from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Avocados from Me Mexico. Oh, that's horrible. Matt, give it a try. <laughs> Avocados from Mexico. Yes! <laughs> 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 okay, let me go back to the very beginning here. Uh, T8 sounds, uh, uh, Francisco, with the next pick. With the next pick. There you go. Put it together. Here, uh, we can cancel the T. With the next pick. With the next pick. The kangaroo. The kangaroo. Good. Be careful, kangaroo. No, no, no. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Good job. Uh, who is this? Carlos. Get up. Get up. Hops. Hops. Jump vertical. Jump vertical. Good. One more time. Get up. Hops. Jump vertical. Sounds good. Francisco, A.W. Sloth. 
Clothes. Not clothes. Sloth. Clothes. No. Let's just cut. Let's do the A W. Ah. Clothes. On no no no. Just A W. Ah. Oh. Mm -mm. Clothes. Remember. Uh, let me make the diagram here. So this. Hold on a second. Sorry. Yeah. So these are your upper teeth. These are your lower teeth. And this is your tongue. Now when we do the AW sound, we have to move the tongue down here into the soft part. So we actually stick the tongue into the soft part and drop the jaw. So, ah. Sloth. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Sloth. Sloth. Perfect. Brazil selects the sloth. Brazil selects the sloth. Much better, much better. Madagascar. 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 Zebra. Zebra. Next pick. Next pick. Mauritius. 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 Selects. Selects. Excellent job, excellent job. Lots of little words there. Uh, a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. That was really good. Avocado. Avocado. One more time. Avocado. Avocado. Perfect. And this was Jerry, I think. That'll make avocados. That'll make avocados. From Mexico. From Mexico. The ideal year-round snack. The ideal year-round snack. Good. Before you said snake. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Matt is our singer. Great job, Matt. Matt, one more time. Avocados from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Good job, guys. Let's go to the next one. Matt, you are Liam Neeson. Uh, who wants to be the Starbucks clerk? Me. Good. Go for it, Jerry. Go for it, guys. Okay. I don't know you picked the Fable 85, but if you think you can humiliate me and take my gold, think again. Oh, I'm coming for you with thoughts of barbarians and dragons. I can wait to destroy your village while you beg for mercy. But you will get no mercy. I will have my revenge. Lime? I have a skull for lime? Oh, over here. It's... You will regret the day you've crossed. Henry Neeson, 52. Wow, that was excellent. My goodness, both of you guys, perfect. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little I nervous. like to laugh. A little nervous. <laughs> that was great. Cool. So, this Who is Matt. That? That, that was Matt doing uh, Liam, Liam Neeson and Jerry doing the Starbucks clerk. Both of you guys, absolutely it, perfect. Isn't, isn't it the first time of him? I know, it's Matt's first time. He's much better than you were, Daniel. Stop. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I agree. It's brilliant. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you very much. This means a lot, guys. Thanks. Where did you learn English, Matt? Where did you learn, Matt? Um, I'm learning every day, around the clock. And I also studied in England. And, um, yeah, I'm working on it daily. That's great. Matt, do you work? How old are you, if we can ask? I'm 25 years old. You're a young kid, too. Uh, do you have a job? I do. I work. I um. Sorry. I work as a translator. Oh, from like Polish to English, English to Polish. Oh uh, yeah, both ways. Excellent. Is it good? Is it a good job? Well, yeah. It's it's all right. Gives me a lot of you know options for um, vacations and. Oh, that's nice. Also, well, what's what's uh, most important? I have. I'm in contact with um, the English language right. on a daily basis because we get um, we get lots of foreign customers 
So are you translating business English mostly? Um, mostly, yes. Mostly, mostly business English. And also, um, they put out these, uh, these videos, this company I work for, oh. and um, I, um, I create subtitles for those. Oh, that's great. That's great. I like that. Excellent. Uh, Matt, Matt, you don't need shame, but stay. Oh, we, yes, I do. We need you. <laughs> you. This is great. Now, I think what I can do is I'll retire from this live hangout and we'll have Matt do the hangout. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not, that won't work. No. <laughs> that was great. That was really great. Does anybody else want to try this? Me. Go ahead. <clears throat> Hold up. Uh, Daniel, be the Starbucks guy, please. Okay. Go for it, guys. I don't know you, Big Buffet Boy 85, but <laughs> if you think you can humiliate me and take my gold, think again. Oh, I'm coming for you with lots of barbarians and dragons. I can't wait to destroy your village while you beg for mercy. But you will get no mercy. I will have my revenge. <laughs> lion! I have a stun for lion! <laughs> oh, over here. It's, uh, Liam. You will regret the day you crossed angry Nissan 52. Wow, you guys are doing great. I'm very pleased. Remember, <laughs> one thing, one thing, Carlos. Don't pronounce the T. Yeah. Big Buffet Boy. Big Buffet Boy. Nope. Buffet Boy. It's like F-A-Y. Big Buffet Boy. Big Buffet Boy. Perfect. <laughs> I will have my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Oh, this is great. I'm glad I clicked this one. You guys are doing great. Anybody else want to try it? I tried, but you reject me. I'm going to reject you, yeah. <laughs> Daniel, I want you to do, I want you to pick one. Do you want to be the tortoise or the hare? Uh, this, this first is the, the turtle. Yes. Okay. So you're going to be the turtle? Yeah. Who's the hare? Me. Bo Berta. All right. Hold on a second here. Lots of stuff here. All right. Um, and once again, we'll start with Jerry, this one. And uh, let me see. Carlos, this one. And Cooney, this one. Matt. And Mikhail. And what's Francisco misses out again? Uh, I'll get Francisco again here. Uh, let's go for it. Start at the top, please. Hey, good luck, Hare. Ha! You better have a jetpack under that turtle. <laughs> it's third to us, actually. All right. <clears throat> Bask in my glory. <laughs> Are you Carlos. a mark? Is my turn? Yes, go ahead, Carlos. Okay. So it's me. Okay. Are you a mark? Get set. Car. <laughs> Later, road kill. <laughs> On your left. Coming through. <laughs> hey, hey. Build me in, guys. Hey, yeah. Plot <laughs> mm, twist. Slow is stab my Wow. Read them in with boys, huh? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who's your turtle? Terrible. <laughs> Mikhail. Introducing the hair raising power and performance of the Mercedes. And GT, GT, it's no fairy tale. Great job. Everybody very nice. Now, oh, and I should say hi to Santa, too. Hi, Santa. Uh, now, 
what I'm going to do is Francisco is one of the smart guys here. So Francisco, this word was pronounced wrong. Do you know yes. the proper pronunciation for this word? Toto? Not too bad. Anybody else? There you go. Better that you're cheating. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. That's okay. We're yes. Gorgeous. They're perfect, perfect. I, I, but, but I said in French, it's third wise. I, but we not speak the French language here, no? <laughs> Dude, let me ask one more time to my Daniel. It's Totis, actually. Okay, it's Totis, actually. Great job. Berta, you know what I want, but first of all, Francisco. Bertha said this word wrong. She didn't say it wrong, but she, I want more. What does she need to do with this word, Francisco? Basque, Basque in my glory. Uh, Basque was right. I said Bertha, it the second time. Did, did, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and she said it perfectly. Basque in my glory. I want it longer. Basque oh. in my glory. Oh, yeah. Basque in my glory. Now, this one, Francisco, we need a French pronunciation. Can you do it? On your left, coming through. That sounded like horrible French. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody speak French English? <laughs> it's impossible. Mm, no, you can, Coach Shane. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. On your left, coming through. <laughs> your left? <laughs> it was perfect, Berta. Okay, now this one, intonation. Slow and steady, my... Okay. Mm, plot twist. Slow and steady, my... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, there you go. So let, let's go here again. So the first situation is this. Hmm... Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. <gasps> Plot twist. Plot twist. Completely change the story. Completely change the story. Yes, that's the meaning here, okay? So okay. once again. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, okay. Plot twist. Okay. <laughs> Yes, okay? Do you understand yeah. that? So, yeah. so when you're saying these words, have that in your mind, okay? Okay. And then this one, slow and steady my foot. Slow and steady my... but he didn't, didn't say foot. No, but the expression is foot or butt or ass. And of course in this situation ass is most common. But let's stick with the clean word foot. Slow and steady my foot. Slow and steady my foot. Slow and steady my butt. Slow and steady my butt. Slow and steady my ass. Slow and steady my ass. Slow and steady. Pfft, that's bullshit. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> but that's the idea. That's the idea. It's a great expression. Okay? And this one okay. too. Intonation. Read them and weep, boys. Read them and read them and weep, boys. Perfect. And the idea, you are winning, you killed them. So this picture is actually really good. This guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Read them and weep, boys. And these boys are dead. Okay? Yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Go back here. And, oh, Daniel. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Woo-hoo! Very good. Who's your go turn? Yeah, there, that was good. That's perfect, perfect. Let me go to Francisco. Francisco, read this sentence, please. Introducing, uh, introducing the hair-raising power and performance of the Mercedes AMG GT. One more time. Introducing the hair-raising power and performance of the Mercedes AMG GT. Okay, that was much better. I liked it better. Mikhail, give it another try. Introducing the hair-raising power and performance of the 
Mercedes AMG GT. It's no yes. Uh, that's now. That's what I wanted. Now this is confusing because we got noun, noun, noun. I mean, the that's a nice Mercedes. That's a nice AMG. That's a nice GT. That's a nice AMG GT. That's a nice Mercedes GT. That's a nice Mercedes AMG GT. It's all possible. But what's important when we have several nouns together, we have to make sure there's separation. Okay? And that's not easy. So what you do, uh, why can't I do this? What's going on? Anyway, uh, so this is the sound. Introducing the hair-raising power and performance of the Mercedes AMG GT. Mercedes AMG GT. A little tiny break. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That is it. Santa, who are you saying looks like Newman? Who looks like Newman? Santa always has an interesting... The Did card you? guy. Ah! Newman? <laughs> a little bit. Like, no money who? Chubby. A little chubby, that's right. He's a, a dough boy. Dough boy. <laughs> you guys did great today. Very good. Uh, we do have, just to let you know, we do have another live hangout tomorrow. It starts at 10 a.m. my time. And of course, I will send an invitation to everybody. So if you're if you can join, that's great. Most of you don't, but once again, the invitation is always there. And I will be back after two weeks. Thanks, Jerry. I will. Uh, Jerry, absolutely. If I go someplace, you guys, DDM students, will be the first people to see my pictures and videos. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Berita. Okay. Berta. Great. Thank well, you very much. And I'll see you in two weeks. Excellent. Thank you, Berta. And and once again to Jerry, Carlos, Daniel, Cooney, Matt, Mikhail, Santa, Francisco. Thank you so much for joining me. And yeah, I'll see you. Great. Thank All you. Okay. Absolutely. Bye. Take care, everybody. Jen, are you going to uh, go to Grand Canyon? That's my plan, Jerry. I hope to go to the Grand Canyon. Wow, I let you go there too. <laughs> I will I will take you there with me in my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to seeing those pictures. Excellent. Take care. Excellent. Take care. Yeah. See you guys. Bye bye. Yeah, take see you in one much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Have a full night. Thank you very much, Cooney. Have a great day. Bye-bye.